In this video I'll be getting the front wheel ready for use, which includes checking and adjusting the spoke tension, installing a heavy tube, changing the front tire to a Shinko Fatty tire, and finally balancing the wheel. If you want to keep your wheels running round and true, uh, one of the most important things you can do is adjust the uh, spoke tension. And to do that, I use a uh, torque wrench set to 5.4 newton meters. I'm using a Tonichi torque wrench with a 6.8 millimeter head uh, made by Fast. And I made an adapter myself to space the head the correct distance on the torque wrench so I don't need to make any adjustments to the torque value. Um, if you're using the torque method to do the tension of the spokes, you need to ensure that the uh, nipples are clean and not seized on the spokes. So this wheel is brand new, so that's no problem at all. But if you had an old wheel, uh, you should ensure they're not seized. If they are, then uh, maybe use some penetrating oil and uh, work that in and make sure they move freely before you start tensioning. And the method I use is to uh, pick a reference point. Um, so I'm gonna use the valve and uh, first tighten or check the uh, torque of the nipple next to the uh, valve. So I'm not going to adjust it more than about half a turn and I count three spokes from the first one so one two three and this one is actually uh, uh, pulls the opposite direction so I'm going to do the same adjustment for that and it just torque then and then one two three and this one the opposite direction again and that's reached torque. So they're a little bit loose, not too far off. This one's a bit looser and it torqued down. And then just work your way around. That one's okay. That one's a bit loose. Okay, so I've gone around once. I'm back to where I started. And the next spoke to check is the one next to the one you started with. So, so the same method, uh, just work round. It's important not to adjust any one spoke too much or it can pull it out of alignment. So I'm only doing a maximum of half turn, no more. Okay, so I'm back uh, to the start and the final uh, round is um, two spokes away from the one you started with. Okay, so I've been round once, um, skipping over two spokes each time. I'm going to do the same again. Uh, a few of them were still seem quite loose, so same method, starting from the valve, skipping two spokes. Okay, so I've gone round again, so I skip to the next spoke and go around again. That one's still quite loose. Okay, I skip one spoke and same, go around again. Okay, I've been around two times now, uh, skipping two spokes each time, and I think all the spokes are pretty close now, so I'm just going to go around in order all of the spokes. So most of them reach the torque value. So I can just quickly go around. And that, that was the loose one. And that's torque now. Okay, so I've been right the way around the wheel now. I uh, checked all of the spokes. They've all, all reached torque. Um, so all of those spokes are correctly tensioned now. And that should uh, make the wheel a lot stronger and less likely to uh, go out of true. So after the first ride, I'm gonna recheck the spoke tensions. Uh, they shouldn't need a lot of adjustment, but uh, you might find the uh, nipples bed down in the rim, so some of them might need some adjustment. And these are the parts I'm gonna be fitting. So the tire is a Shinko 216 MX fat tire. Um, the size is 9121. And this is my favorite uh, tire right now. It, it works really well in all conditions. 
and uh, has good durability. And I'm going to be using a uh, heavy tube in the front and tubeless system in the rear. So this is an IRC heavy tube. And I decided to get a Motion Pro light lock. And then to balance the tire, I'm going to be using some Tokyo Off-Road uh, wheel spoke weights. Um, if you're purely riding off-road, at certainly at lower speeds, it's probably not necessary to balance the wheel. But if you're riding higher speeds and certainly on road above uh, about 80 kilometers hour, 50 miles an hour, you'll probably notice some vibration and bouncing of the uh, front end. And balancing the front wheel um, is really important. So I'm going to use these weights and uh, balance it. So before I start making changes to the wheel, I thought it'd be a good idea to uh, weigh the stock wheel. And you can see here it weighs 8.08 kilograms. And here I've got the stock wheel um, on the static balancer. And I thought it'd be interesting uh, to see how quickly it moves uh, when I've got the rim lock placed at 90 degrees and let it go. Uh, you can see how unbalanced it is. And if you intend to use the standard KTM rim lock on the front wheel, uh, you can balance that using two Tokyo off-road uh, rim lock weights. Um, also have some larger ones which are for tubeless systems. And if you use two of those, you can balance the tubeless system. But uh, I fitted two of them on this wheel. And uh, if I've got the rim lock where I had it before, you can see it's not moving at all. So it's perfectly balanced now. Next, I'm going to change the tire and also install the heavy tube and uh, the Motion Pro light lock. So I'm using my TMT tire changing tool. I really like these Motion Pro tire levers. They have a, a very short hook, uh, which ensures uh, you don't uh, pinch the tube. So uh, really easy to use, very nice. Okay, so I've got my new heavy tube and I, I like to put some uh, talcum powder on it to uh, allow it to move around in the tire when installing. Uh, the way I do it is put some talcum powder in a plastic bag, then put the tube in and then you can seal it and shake it around. And before you install the new tire, uh, you should check the uh, rim band is uh, good and it's not torn in any places. And uh, I'm going to swap out the rim lock so I'm going to take out the standard one and I'm going to weigh this and compare it to the Motion Pro one and here you can see the standard KTM front rim lock weighs 58 grams here you can see the Motion Pro light lock and it weighs 43 grams okay so I'm going to install the uh, Motion Pro light lock simply push it through and then put the uh, 
band over the top and I'm just installing the nut on it loosely. The Shinko 216MX is a directional tire um, so make sure you have it round the right way when you install it on the rim. So I typically inflate the tire to 40 psi to uh, seat the bead and then uh, check that it's seated correctly. So I look all around, that side looks good and that side looks fine as well. And then you can uh, adjust the pressure. So I always, I always run the front tire at 11 psi so I'm going to reduce that. Then you can tighten up the rim lock and uh, the Motion Pro ones, they have a 12mm nut on them. Uh, the standard KTM ones are 10. Okay, so you can see I've installed two Tokyo Off-Road rim lock weights, which is the same as I had before uh, when balancing the standard KTM rim lock. And uh, you can see the balance is uh, pretty good. 
So I'm finding that um, even using the same weights, because the uh, Motion Pro rim lock is only slightly um, lighter than the standard rim lock, I can use the same weights. If you have a tubeless system installed in the front, you'll need the uh, larger weights, uh, which are available on the website. And this is the weight of the wheel with the Shinko 216 MX fat tire, uh, heavy tube, Motion Pro light lock, and uh, the Tokyo off-road uh, wheel weights. So it weighs 9.226 kilograms. Mm -hmm.